Joan Rowling, also known by her pen name J.K. Rowling, is a British author and philanthropist. She wrote a seven-volume children's fantasy series, Harry Potter, published from 1997 to 2007. The series has sold over 500 million copies, been translated into at least 70 languages, and spawned a global media franchise, including films and video games. The Casual Vacancy was the first novel for adults. She writes Cormoran Strike, an ongoing crime fiction series, as Robert Galbraith. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone deal with the time when Harry learns on his 11th birthday that he is the orphan son of two powerful wizards and possesses unique magical powers of his own. He is summoned from his life as an unwanted child to become a student at Hogwarts, an English boarding school for wizards. There he meets several friends who become his closest allies and help him discover the truth about his parents' mysterious death. Harry lives his life without any friends or companions. It is a difficult and very existence, and he constantly hopes that it will change by some magical miracle. Dudley, however, has numerous friends, all violent and cruel little boys, who vow to make Harry's life miserable. While Harry waits to go to Hogwarts back at the Dursleys, he finally has one friend, Hedwig the Owl, a present given to him by Hedwig. Hedwig becomes a constant companion throughout the remainder of the novel, helping Harry and his new friends uncover various plots and schemes at Hogwarts. When Ron Weasley walks into Harry's room on the train, the two boys begin a friendship that will last throughout their time at Hogwarts. They share their stories, their family problems, and eventually candy. When Draco Malfoy offers his evil hand of friendship to Harry in the same sentence as he badmouths Ron, Harry refuses. He informs Draco that Harry needs no help finding his own friends and has already done so with Ron. From this point on, Harry and Ron are inseparable friends, while Draco Malfoy becomes her anti friend. Harry and Ron develop their friendship some more as they spend all their time together in class in Gryffindor and fending of Malfoy. Harry has always found a good and loyal friend in Hagrid. They visit him in his shack together and learn about the breaking at Gringotts on his birthday. Harry goes to extremes to help his friends. When Draco steals Neville's rainbow brawl, Harry chases after him on his broomstick to retrieve it. Ron despises Hermione so much because of her pompous demeanor that he makes a derogatory remark aloud to Harry behind her back about how she has no friend. She overhears the comment and runs away in tears. Harry finds Ron's comment upsetting and feels badly for Hermione. After the terrifying incident with the troll, Ron, Harry, and Hermione become a trio of best friends. They believe the survival after such a scary brush with, with Tate is enough to bring anyone together. Faster than he gains it, Harry loses all his good fame and popularity in one night, when he and his friends lose 150 points for Gryffindor. Harry discovers that he has no more friends. Ron and Hermione stand behind the friend and remain the only two friends he has at this point. When Harry vows to find the stone that very evening, Ron and Hermione accompany him. They will not allow their friend to enter into a dead trap alone and will help him at any chance. Ron sacrifices himself in the ultimate expression of friendship. In order to allow his friends to continue to the next chamber, he allows his knight to be killed in a giant game of wizard's chase, rendering him unconscious. 
It is Hermione's turn to express her love for her friends when she answers the riddle and walks through the fire, allowing Harry, Harry to proceed to the final chamber underground. She hugs Harry and tells him how great a wizard he is and how important friendship is to her. She realizes that all of her studying is useless without her friends. Is Harry Potter just a name? No. Harry Potter is not just a regular common name, but the name of an amazing person full of bravery, courage, fear, love, confusion, knowledge, and understanding. Once you have read Harry Potter, you will realize that Harry Potter is a name that will always be with you for your whole life, no matter where you go or how you live your life. Harry Potter will always be there, having an impact on your life. In the story, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone by J.K. Rowling, many friendships are woven together to tell an amazing tale of intrigue and adventure. Three specific friendships define the novel and are developed through the characters. Harry Potter, an abandoned young orphan, Ron Weasley, an adventure-bound young man, and Hermione Granger, a studious and clever young woman. Throughout the friendship, each of the three portray their own individualized friends. As Ralph Waldo Emerson said, the glory of friendship is not the outstretched hand, not the kindly smile, nor the joy of companionship. It's the spiritual inspiration that comes to one when you discover that someone else believes in you and is willing to trust you with a friendship. Thanks to Lenora Spew for your support. This would have, wouldn't be possible without you all. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you all.